Hey folks, I'm hanging out in the greenhouse and I'm thinking about some of the things that I have to decide in the next little while. So y'all know I've been growing plants, so I've got the starts going, but there's a lot more to this. You have to figure out how am I going to sell these plants? So I have a following of people who buy my plants, who I will certainly sell to. I may do some Facebook marketing. That's been somewhat successful for me in the past. Um, I've also done markets. So at the heyday, when the company was the biggest and running two greenhouses, I used to do the weekly farmer's market, local one, Columbia farmer's market, which is a fabulous market, rather expensive for someone like me who would really only be selling for five weeks out of a season, um, you know, hardcore product. So, uh, but yet it was a great venue. The clientele was perfect for my target market. It was my people. It was a great thing. I also used to do Earth Day. Earth Day is a great thing to do in your town. The one thing you have to watch with Earth Day is ha when is it? Is it near the frost date? In some places, depending on your frost date, it's going to be before it. So you have to be able to sell plants to people that know they can't put them out yet. They have to protect those plants for another week or two. So that's a thing with Earth Days. Um, I used to do a planting festival down in South Missouri at Baker Creek, which is a fantastic seed company. Um, they do a lot of great things, and I used to do a booth there, and that was great. I also used to do an Earth Day in a larger city. I would do St. Louis's Earth Day, which was incredible. Huge amount of people coming in and out, and just a wonderful sales opportunity. Problem with all this is you have to have crews to run these markets. You have to have signage you have to have you know tags a pricing system payment systems and a lot of these things happen at the same time so you're trying to run a market on earth day in two different places so really it's a very difficult decision when you think about where am i going to sell my plants if i want to do a physical market so now, if you want to do market, you also need something to transport all your plants to market. So you may be renting a U-Haul. You may be begging a truck off a friend. You may be trying to figure out how many flats you can get in your car, how many times you can go back and forth. So there's a lot of moving pieces with the market. So deciding where you're going to do a market is a really big decision and one that I don't take lightly. So this year. Okay, I'm gonna grow hopefully around a thousand plants, maybe a little bit more. I did a market last year. I did just one day at the Columbia Farmers Market. It wasn't good weather. We didn't have a good position. It wasn't a great opportunity. It wasn't a great experience. Um, it costs a lot of money to do. You're not gonna make a lot of money. So I would love not to do a market. I would love just to sell the people I know and people to hear about this and people get excited about it and not have to do a market. However, I have to think about it. I have to plan. Now, I know the Columbia Earth Day is on the 22nd of April. I know that there's no way I'm going to pack everything up into a huge van and drive to the Baker Creek Planting Fest or to St. Louis. I don't have enough product to do either of those. I have to do something small. I have to do something local. Or I try to do something else, so get creative. So we're going to keep thinking about this, but I want to put that idea out there for people to think about where you're going to sell your plants. 